In this string demonstration program, I am going to show you how you can copy an array of characters also known as strings from one array of characters to the other. So what I have done is, I have I'll take out the standard lib, we don't need it because I'm writing my own code. I'm going to define the maximum size of both the arrays as max and 50. So what I'll do is I'll call the original array as org max and I'll call the copy as copy max. Now what I can do here is okay, let me just take this out. Okay, so this I will call it as copy and max. So what I have done is I have taken the original array size of 50. I have written the message Beamtal rocks. Now I want this message Beamtal rocks to be copied into this copy array of characters or a string. So in order to do that, I have declared a prototype of a function called as make underscore copy where I am passing the address of org as well as I am passing the address of copy. So these are two different ways which actually mean the same because when you pass a single dimension array, you basically pass the address to the first location. This also indicates it is addressed to the first location. This also indicates it's addressed to the first location. By first, I mean the zeroth location in C. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type this function make copy and I'm going to say org comma copy. And once I come back, I should be able to print the value of the copy. So, okay, value in the copy is equal to percentage s slash n. So, this particular fellow, if I have done things right, should be able to print the message Bhimtal rocks. And then, as usual, I am going to do a return 0 and going to alt. Then, here, what I am going to do here is I am going to write a function called as void make copy. So let me be a little lazy and try to copy this particular prototype here. So here let me give it the name O for original and let me give this fellow as star C for the copy. All right. So you need to understand a few things here. This particular notation and this mean the same because ORG is going to be passed by address. Copy is also going to be passed by address. So C contains the address of the array, the starting location, which is called as the zeroth location, that is address of copy of zero. This also indicates that this is referring to this ORG of max. Now, let us try to come here and type the code. I am going to define an integer value i, which is going to travel through the first array and copy that corresponding element into the copy. So what I'm going to do here is while care of i is equal to not equal to null. All right. While care of i not equal to null, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say c of i is equal to o of i. That means each character from the original array is being copied into the copy. And I need to increase so that this way I am able to copy one character at a time. Now, what I am going to do here is I am going to end this particular bracket here and going to show you one important thing. When you copy a character one at a time, if you see we are stopping when this particular character, sorry, this should not be care, this should be O, O of I is not equal to null. So obviously, null is not going to get copied into. This should be O. Obviously, null is not going to get copied into C of I. So it is our job at the very end of this copying to see that C of I is assigned the value null. Otherwise, your string will never get terminated and while printing and processing, you're going to have errors. So this is the basic program. Let me explain before we go and execute it. I have an original array of characters with the initial value Bhimtal rocks. I have a copy maximum 50 characters. I'm calling make underscore copy. I'm passing original and copy. Original address will go into O. Copies address will go into C. I'm starting with the integer variable i. While 
since this is the source and this is the copy while o of i is not equal to null i am taking every character from o of i and copying it to c of i and i am increasing the value of i so that i can keep proceeding to the next character so as i am proceeding to the next character at some point o of i is going to be equal to null then i am going to say c of i is equal to null because here in this particular while loop i have not copied the null character into c of i so what i shall do now is i shall copy this particular piece of code and try to execute it on our favorite online gdb compiler so let's see if it compiles first because we never sure okay there's something i have messed up okay value of copy i have forgotten to put the percentage yes so all right anything else 13 okay that was the only error so let me stop and let me try to recompile it so now hopefully it is recompiling now when it recompiles you should have noticed that the value in copy has also turned out to be beamtal rocks how did this happen let me try to just brief you this original value contained beamtal rocks okay here one character at a time okay starting what happened b got copied into c of 0 then h which existed at i'm just giving space so that you can see h which existed at o of 1 get copied into c of i then i which existed at o of 2 got copied into c of i because initially i was 0 so b got copied into the zeroth location i became 1 h got copied into the first location i became 2 then this i got copied into the second location then i became 3 therefore the m gets copied into the third location because we are starting from zero most important which you tend to forget is this null should be given to this fellow c of i or copy of i because here we are not copying the null character we are using null as a terminating condition for the while loop